want to learn how to install servers in a rack and everything that is related. Now I'm going to this customer that is very big. I'm going to show you how. I'm here working. I'm going to troubleshoot some connections. Um, they have ethernet cables running everywhere. And as you can see over there, they have very far away some racks. And they are wiring all this huge place, as you can see here. Meanwhile, I'm working on my, on the switch. But this, this place is they cost like millions of dollars. And, and this, this huge places when you have to do work like that, you can earn very, very well. As you can see, we are going to put these servers. We're going to take those servers inside of the data closet, so that way we can install them. All right, as you can see, we're going to install the rails. So we are going to use these. This is, these are the instructions. You, you have to have the rack. So but, uh, step one, you click it on the holes, and then you extend it out. And then you put the server, make sure that the screws fit in the in the holes, and then it clicks, and then you push this usually up or down, and then you push it inside, and that's it. We're going to install it here, so the customers say 15, 16, 13, 14. So we're going to install the servers here, as you can see. Uh, each company they have their own order, so we have to keep that in order. And we are going to install this. As, as you can see, here it says front left or left front. So this goes here, and the other one right front goes here. So what you see here, this is going inside of these holes. All right, as you can see, this is the the screw that is going to be on top of the um, rails, so the way that is how you hold the the server. As you can see, everything is in place, as you can see. And we have the gap that you see here. And we are ready to install the new server. As you can see, we have to install this over here, but this is uh, different than the, the rest. So, as you can see, I have the server over there, and we have to put them kind of like this, and then we have to make a fit in the other side, and then we have to put the screws here. If it doesn't fit in your case, we have to move this a little bit uh, towards me, so that way it will fit. Otherwise, in my case, it, it doesn't fit.
correct as you can see. Okay, I have to take the screws here, and in metal you have a, like a metal bar with a thread, so that way I was able to move it and put it to install it. So in the front I didn't have to do anything because it goes just here. Otherwise, you have to move this column that you see here, and um, usually everything is fixed with those type of screws that you see here and here as well. All right, I put the install the third server. Now we have to set it up, and that's it. All right, as you can see, I put the the panel, the front panel for this. Now I'm going to install the front panel for this. Here we have the new ones. It comes like that, as you can see here, with the key. And we're going to install them like that, so that way nobody will vandalize, steal your hard drives or anything like that. So that is the idea. It comes like that, you put it like this, then you grab the key, lock it, and um, that's it, nobody will be able to remove this easily. As you can see, I just put the front. So you push this uh, like that, and then you have access to the drives if you have to remove them. Also, the VGA port. Now, you put it like that, and then you will have the display. It will tell you if there is something wrong, for instance, I didn't plug in the other power supply, but I'll do it uh, later. Uh, that is how you protect it. So you lock it, and nobody will, will, be, will be able to open or access this, as you can see. There we go. As you can see, here we have the UPS, the battery backup, one and two. And we have the PDU, the power distribution unit, as you can see here. So we're going to use uh, all the servers. They have two power supplies on the left and on the right, on the left, as you can see here, the same thing here, the same thing here with the switches. So this, we have a Cisco switches and uh, we have to plug them in later but as you can see that is the the way that you have a redundancy if something fails with the one ups the rest of the equipment is going to keep uh, working because auto um, automatically the power will switch to the second ups and everything will keep working so that is how it should be done in all the equipment that you use you know for production Thank you.